the Swift Auto Res River Rescue still continuing out here in the Pacoima area. You're taking a look at that fast moving water in the wash. This is actually going right underneath Laurel Canyon. LA City firefighters are here on scene. Now the reports are that somebody may be calling for help somewhere underneath the actual Laurel Canyon overpass or maybe a little bit farther over. Now San Fernando PD, they were the first ones to arrive out here. They went down into that hole. They were in that actually looking underneath the bridge. Unclear if they actually have that person in sight. Right now, though, you can see LA City firefighters. They're tethered to fire trucks. There's two of them right there. Swift Rodder Rescue Professionals. These, these guys right there. The water moving about 8 to 10 miles an hour. They're saying it's almost 2 feet high. Now, that is quite a bit of water and definitely could cause some kind of drowning. You can see a number of fire trucks right there. I'm going to take a chance here. We know there was a helicopter hovering over the wash just on the other side of the freeway just in case that sus or that uh, that victim breaks free and they're unable to catch him. You can see right there that's going to be one of the LA City firefighting helicopters. Also another firefighting professional in that helicopter waiting to basically repel down if that victim gets free from where they are right now. But as it stands, they have not made contact with this person to, to rescue them. LA City firefighters standing ready. And apparently they're trying to get that person out from underneath this uh, overpass right now, though, it's a very tense situation. And of course, hopefully this ends very well with the number of firefighters here. I can't see it ending any other way. I'm Stu up in Sky Fox over Pacoima. Back to you all in the studio. All right, absolutely. Uh, best wishes down there. Thank you, Stu. We'll keep an eye on things there and see how things develop.